In this video, I want to talk about why every artist needs a This Is playlist on Spotify. Hey, it's John here and Hyped It. This video is dedicated to the infamous This Is playlist on Spotify. I want to talk about why every artist should have one of these on Spotify, how to make yours and how to make the best use of it for your Spotify promotion. But before we jump in, don't forget to hit the subscribe, the like, and the bell icon below so you can get more videos like this on YouTube of how to grow your listeners, your streams, and your fans on Spotify. Chances are you've seen them on Spotify, the infamous This Is Playlists. And if you haven't, just log into Spotify, go to Playlists, type in This Is into the search bar, and you see hundreds, thousands of This Is Playlists that Spotify has generated for lots of music artists across their platform. And what's unique about these playlists is that every This Is playlist only contains the music of that very particular artist. And it's in that way that these playlists are so different from the vast majority of other playlists on Spotify, which are curated with the music of many different artists. And so here's why this is so powerful. Whenever you promote your music on Spotify, and it doesn't matter how, whether you run ads, you do social media marketing, or you submit your music to playlists, at the end of the day, all you're doing is you're trying to attract listeners to your music on Spotify. Listeners that check out your music and then decide to do other things, possibly stream more of your music, start following you, adding your music to a playlist, adding your music to their liked songs playlist, or also if they don't like it, skip or start listening to someone else. And so when I attract listeners for my music on Spotify, it is my goal to convert these listeners into as many streams as possible, because that sets off a chain reaction. If you get more streams, either on a song or even as an artist across all your music, it raises your popularity score in Spotify. And when your popularity score rises, you're getting more exposure on algorithmic playlists from Spotify. So think Discover Weekly or Spotify Radio or any of the other algorithmic playlists. And when that happens, you're getting even more streams. And with these additional streams, you're also getting more royalties from Spotify. So all of this is to show you that turning a listener into multiple streams can have a domino effect that ultimately leads to even more listeners, even more streams and more fans on Spotify. And to put some numbers around this, let me hop over into Spotify for artists real quick. I'm looking at my music tab at the playlist section here and at the last 28 days worth of data. So if I scroll down, I can see how different playlists have performed for me over the last 28 days. So let's take radio, for example, radio attracted Let's call it 20,000 listeners, and these 20,000 listeners generated roughly 35,000 streams. So that's an average of 1.75 streams per listener. Let's take a look at some of these other playlists here. Your daily mix, that seems to be about a two multiple release rate of maybe only about one and a half. And that's it on these algorithmic playlists. So I think I'm seeing a top range of about two. And then we have on repeat here, 78 listeners, 320 streams. So that's about a four multiple which kind of makes sense that this is higher since the playlist is literally called on repeat. So that caters to listeners who just like to play my music over and over again. But so all in on the algorithmic playlist, we're seeing a top range of four. And then most of these playlists come in anywhere between one and a half to two times the number of streams for every listener. But let's dive a little bit deeper. Let's scroll down here. We have the editorial playlists and this is where the numbers change. Right, they are Dance Paradise here, Mint Brazil. So those numbers are too small here, but it's a one-to-one -one relationship. And this is likely not from being included on the playlist, but just having my song come up as a recommendation when a listener checked out that playlist. But you do see here that Spotify recently created a This Is John Gold playlist for me. So this just happened a few weeks ago and you can see 33 listeners attracting about 380 streams. So that's a ratio of 11 and a half. This is way different from all the other playlists. That means for every listener I'm getting to this playlist, it'll turn into 11 and a half streams on average. There's just one problem with this. This is Jungle playlist. And that is that I didn't create it. And because I didn't create the playlist, but Spotify did, I don't control it. I can control what music goes on there. I can control the order of the songs on there, which is really the reason why I don't use this playlist when I go out and promote my music. But what I use is my own This Is John Gold playlist. So I created this playlist here, This Is John Gold. And over the last 28 days, this playlist has gotten a little over 2000 listeners, 
with a little over 17,000 streams, which is still a multiple of eight and a half. So that's a really strong multiple. Means when I go out there and promote my music to a cold audience that hasn't heard my music, on average, I'm getting eight and a half streams from every listener coming to the playlist. Now compare this to any other listener made playlist or curated playlist that this song is on. I'm on this playlist here, 366 listeners, 527 streams. So that's less than a two times multiple. Here we have Dubai Arabic Deep House, 180, 355. So that's about a two multiple. Hugo's House, 116, 350 is about a three multiple. Here's another playlist of mine. So this one has a ton of my music on it, has about a five multiple, but nothing here is as strong as the this is John Gold playlist. And the reason of course simply is, if you sync your traffic to a playlist that has the music of other artists on there, these other artists are getting the benefit of your promotion, right? A fan goes to the playlist, streams one of your songs, but the next song that plays, if they don't do nothing, might just be a song from another artist. But if you send them to a This Is playlist, the next song is always gonna be one of your songs. And this is why the multiple is so much higher because a lot of fans arrive on these playlists, they click play, and then they just let the music do the talking, let the music play. And it just rolls over to your next song, to your next song, and to your next song. This has probably been among the most impactful decisions that I've made around my music promotion when I created this This Is John Gold playlist and made it the center stone of all my promotion. This playlist clearly is the winner. And so let's talk about how you can create a This Is playlist and integrate it in your own music promotion. Your first question might be, John, how can I get Spotify to make one of these for me? As of recording of this video, my understanding is that this is playlist automatically gets created for you if you have more than 40 songs published on Spotify. So this is less about popularity. This is more about how much music you have on Spotify. But as I said before, what's even more powerful than having Spotify create one of these playlists for you is if you have your own. And if I go here to the This Is John Gold playlist, you can see that I created this one, not Spotify did. And that's why it makes so much sense for me to invest in growing this playlist. I'm growing its likes. I can add new music to it. Whenever I have a new release out, I'll stick it on there and automatically it picks up more listeners and more streams. And full disclosure, I'll probably rename this playlist at one point to be called something like Best of John Gold or John Gold Essentials, just so it is less in competition right now with Spotify's own This Is John Gold playlist. Might be a little funny to have two playlists with the exact same name on there but so far this has done really, really well for me. And to be quite frank, some fans might look at this and might see it as a validation of you as an artist on Spotify because they know that all the big artists have this as playlist and if you have one too, well that might mean something to a fan. So how can you use this for your music? It's very easy. Just go into spotify.com, into the account that you use to listen to music. Create a new playlist and then call it this is, insert your artist name. Give it a description, something like this is, Again, insert your artist name, the essential tracks, all in one playlist. Create a cover image. This is easy to do with a software like canva.com and then upload that cover art into your playlist. Then add your music to it. I recommend you add at least 10 songs onto your playlist and put the songs that you wanna promote the most at the moment, put them towards the top of the playlist. And that's simply because fans coming to the playlist that don't have shuffle enabled will listen to the playlist from the top. So usually the songs towards the top of the playlist get a little bit more exposure than the songs at the bottom of the playlist. And now that this is done, send all your promotion traffic to this playlist. Don't send your fans to a song. Don't send them to your artist profile. If you want the most streams for every listener that you attract, the This Is playlist is your best tool to do that. There's even a way you can send a fan to a specific song on this playlist. It's called Deep Links. Let me leave a link above to a video where I explain how to do that with your playlist. And if you're wondering, John, does Hypedit have a template that I can use in order to promote my music with a playlist like this? And the answer is yes. Let me show you into Hypedit real quick. If you are on the ad campaigns dashboard and you click on the little plus icon below here, use the Grow My Spotify Playlist template. This template will allow you to pick a song that you wanna promote on your playlist. So all you gotta do is pick a song on your This Is Playlist and you're up and running with this promotion strategy. I actually have a full walkthrough of how to set up this campaign click by click on your This Is Playlist. Let me leave a link above this video here that you can check out and you're gonna have your campaign up and running 
in less than 10 minutes. I've seen this work across many music genres. In fact, I have artists inside my VIP coaching group that are seeing listener to streams ratios over 20. It's mind blowing. It means for every listener that they attract to their playlist, they get more than 20 streams out of it. So this hasn't just worked for me. It has worked for lots of other artists. So that's why I wanted to share this with you so that you can use this to get even more listeners, more streams and more fans for your music on Spotify. Want to get your music heard on Spotify with AI? I just launched a brand new video training program called the Spotify Growth Switch, where I show you how to start growing real listeners, real fans and real streams on Spotify in less than 10 minutes using software and AI. I've used the Spotify Growth Switch system to now grow my music to over 7 million streams and tens of thousands of monthly listeners on Spotify. This works for any music genre. It gets you real fans and listeners super fast and it's extremely easy to set up, literally just like flipping a spotlight switch for your music. Despite using AI, you don't need to know nothing about tech stuff in order to be successful with this. I've had the tremendous privilege of helping multiple tens of thousands of music artists grow their music on Spotify, many of which have grown to much larger numbers, lots more listeners, lots more streams than I have using the systems that I've taught. Makes me so proud of their success. And so if you wanna get more real listeners, real fans and real streams for your music fast using state of the art software and AI, then click the link below this video and check out the Spotify growth switch. I can't wait to help you grow your music on Spotify and I look forward to seeing you on the inside.